Audie Murphy was born to poor Irish American sharecroppers on June 20th, 1925, in Hunt County, Texas. He was one of 12 children. Little did his parents know he would become the most decorated soldier in World War II and a famous actor and country music writer. Audie's life is the perfect example of leadership and legacy. Audie's father left the family when he was 16. Audie turned to join the military after the attack on Pearl Harbor, but was immediately turned down because of his age. The next year, Audie's mother died when he was 17. His older sister, Corrine, helped him fake documentation about his birth date in order to meet the minimum age to join the military. Turned down by the Navy and Marines because of his small size, Audie enlisted in the Army and was assigned to Company B, 15th Regiment, 3rd Infantry Division. Audie left for North Africa in February 1943 for training. After training, his division invaded Sicily, where his actions distinguished him, and he was promoted to corporal. Next, his division invaded southern France, where his best friend Laddie Tipton was tricked by a surrendering German and was killed. Alone, Audie used an abandoned German machine gun to kill, wound, and capture all the nearby Germans. For his actions, he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. This scene from The Hell and Back portrays this event. Audie earned his first Purple Heart on September 15, 1944, in France. Near the town of jean Rural, he had stopped to talk to a group of reinforcements when a mortar shell exploded near his feet, wounding him and three others and killing two men. Audie fought in eight major campaigns over three years. One of his most notable battles occurred in Holtzwer, France. His company was attacked by six German tanks and strong infantry support. After telling his troops to retreat, Audie shot at the Germans while calling in artillery support. After his gun ran out of ammo, Audie took over an abandoned American tank and held off the advancing Germans who eventually retreated. For his actions in Holtzwer, Audie was awarded the Medal of Honor. This scene from To Hell and Back portrays this event as well. In 1945, Murphy returned to the United States and appeared on the cover of Life mag magazine. Directors in Hollywood also showed interest in him as an actor. After the war, Audie suffered from what is now known as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. But at the time, no one had a name for his symptoms. He suffered from nightmares, so his doctor gave him sleeping pills. Audie struggled with his addiction to these pills for years. In 1949, Audie wrote his autobiography, To Hell and Back. The book became a bestseller, and in 1955, he played himself in the movie of the book. The movie was very successful, and would be Universal Studios' highest grossing film until Jaws in 1975. In 1950, Audie joined the Texas National Guard and hoped to fight in Korea, but was never called to action. In 1957, continuing to show his dedication, he joined the Army Reserve and stayed for the rest of his life. In 1955, he appeared on the TV show, What's My Life? Audie would appear in 45 movies over the course of his career, mostly westerns. Audie was also a successful country music writer. Two of his most successful songs were Shutters and Boards and When the Wind Blows in Chicago.
On May 28, 1971, Audie died in a plane crash while flying for a business trip. On June 7, he was buried at Arlington Cemetery with full military honors. Audie's legacy continues. In 1996, the Texas legislator declared his birthday Audie Murphy Day, and he was inducted into the Western Performers Hall of Fame at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. There is also an Audie Murphy American Cotton Museum in Greenville, Texas. The U.S. Army gives the Sergeant Audie Murphy Club Award to soldiers who demonstrate excellent character and morals.